things we'll miss most about Victory Motorcycles. Last week came the announcement that Victory Motorcycles was being shut down, but Victory's death knell actually told in early 2011 following the announcement Polaris Industries had acquired Indian. 10. Future Forward Styling Victory was known as a cruiser brand, but the company tried to expand the rules of cruiser tradition when it came to style. 9. Harley Davidson's only domestic rival Victory never put a big enough dent in Harley's market share to make the bar unshield folk nervous, but some of Victory's models were good enough to win occasional MO shootouts against similar HD models. 8. Rear Suspension Travel on a Cruiser Chasing ultimate low seat height has boxed Harley Davidson into a situation of minimizing rear suspension travel to achieve the desired result. 7. Good Brakes Victory motorcycles always have outstanding brakes, that aren't tuned to feel like a handful of mashed potato potatoes, we said in our review of the 2005 Victory Hammer. 6. Ness Name Dropping It was a big deal when in 2004 Arlen Ness lent his name to a signature series version of the new Vegas model. 5. JB's Workation when John Burns returned to the MO fold as a full-time staffer a couple years ago, he did it in auspicious fashion by somehow finagling. 4. You meet the nicest people working for Victory. Last summer Motorcycle.com Group's editorial director Sean Alexander, Mo's senior editor John Burns. 3. What could have been? The industry was all in a tizzy about Victory's Project 156 Pikes Peak Racer when it debuted mid-2015. 2. The Gamble The hardest thing now is figuring out which model will be demanding a princely sum in 20 years. It's not so apparent now. 1. Misnomer Naming a new anything is difficult, but, considering the current circumstances, the Victory name is now poised to be the greatest misnomer in American motorcycling history.